As your Unity project grows, you will notice that the script compilation times are being slower and slower. Not only it is annoying to be waiting each time that you edit small part of one of your scripts, but it also makes the whole development process much slower. And this problem can be solved by creating our own assemblies, because all of the code has to be in some assembly. Assembly is just grouping some code together. And from default there are only two assemblies, one is for the runtime code and the other one is for the editor specific code. And the problem with having too few assemblies is that if one of these scripts in the whole assembly changes, the whole assembly needs to recompile. So if you don't have any custom assemblies and you change one script, all of the other scripts in the whole project need to recompile as well. And creating our own assemblies is really simple, we just go into some folder. So for me it will be the scripts and if I create the assembly definition inside of this folder, the assembly will be applied to all of these scripts in this folder and the subfolders as well. So we can simply right click, create, scripting and then create the assembly definition. So now all of the code that's inside of this folder and the subfolders is part of the event channels assembly. Meaning that if we edit one of these scripts, only these scripts in this assembly will be recompiled, none of the other scripts. And the same way, if we modify some script which is outside of this assembly, it is not going to recompile these scripts. And so that we can measure the time difference between recompiling these scripts with custom assemblies and without them, I've created a simple script that has to be placed inside of the editor folder, which will allow us to measure the compilation time, which is assigning some functions to the compilation started event and the compilation finished, and then debugging message into the console which will tell us how much time it has taken. I then also have one more script which is inside of totally different assembly, it is just in the default one that we have. It is some fairly long code, it has about 10,000 lines of code, so this should take the compiler quite a bit of time to compile. And then lastly, in the folder where we have created the assembly definition, I have many scripts for testing, I will be modifying the particle spawner. So inside of that I can try to make some change, just delete a line, save it, go into Unity and see how much time it's going to take it to compile. And we can see that the compilation time was about 250 milliseconds. So this was with only recompiling this assembly. Let's now do another test which will be without the assembly, so I will just remove it. And this will mean that when we change one of these scripts, let's say the same one as we changed last time, it's going to recompile everything, because right now there are only those two main unit assemblies. And this time it took it about 1200 milliseconds, which is much more than those 250 we had before. I have added the assembly definition for the event channels back, and there is one more issue that we are going to face when we try to build a game, so I will go into the build profiles and try to build it. And this is quite a common error that you could run into, you can see it clearly has to do something with the event editor, which back in here I have in the same folder where I have the assembly, so here I have the editor folder where I have the editor script which has some issues. Now the reason for that is because the assembly is automatically included in the editor and in all of the builds of the game as well. But obviously the editor scripts should not be included in the build. So how can we fix this? Well either we can move this folder somewhere outside of this assembly or we can create our own custom assembly for the editor as well. So let's do it now, create, go into the scripting and create new assembly definition. Typically you would not be creating custom assembly definition for such a small script, you would rather keep it somewhere outside where it is in the default unity editor assembly. But just for testing, let's see how we can do it. So first thing, we definitely don't want to include the assembly in the build. We only want to keep it in the editor. So simply by selecting the assembly and going to the inspector, we can see all of the platforms. So I'm going to untick any platform. I'm going to deselect all of them. And I will say that it should be included only for the editor. And we can simply hit apply. This way, we should get rid of the errors when building the game. But we can see there is one more error, which again is related to the event editor, which I have here. And the reason for that is because inside of the script I'm using the type abstract event, which if we take a look into the folder before, we can see that the abstract event is in here, so it is a part of the event channels assembly. So the problem here is that the assemblies cannot communicate together. This is one of the main issues that you are going to have if you already have a project and you are trying to add assemblies into it, because assemblies are really kind of forcing you to make sure there is as least connections as possible between the assemblies. 
But I wouldn't say that this is a disadvantage, I would say it is an advantage, because by forcing you to have loosely coupled code, it's really enforcing you to write clean code and have clean architecture, so it's definitely something that you should do. But if for some reason you cannot just disconnect those classes together, as in this case, the event editor is dependent on the event, we cannot do anything about this. To fix this, we can add a reference to the assembly definition. So again, we can select it and in the inspector we can see the references. So by this, we are saying that some scripts inside of this assembly are dependent on scripts from another assembly. So we can hit the plus icon and the assembly that we are now dependent on is going to be the event channels. And as usual, we can hit apply. And the reason why you should not be making all of the assemblies dependent on all of the other assemblies is that if we change one of these scripts in the assembly that we are dependent on, so in this case, if one of these scripts in the one channels assembly changes, it's also going to force this assembly to recompile as well. Another good idea is to put all of your plugins into their separate assembly, because sometimes the plugins and the assets from the asset store come with their own assemblies, but most of the time they don't. So we can just jump into the plugins folder I have, and we can create one assembly for all of the plugins, because most of the time you are not going to be changing the plugins itself. When you make an assembly for all the plugins, you will also likely be getting some errors because there are some more packages that these plugins are dependent on. In my case, this is only the Text Mesh Pro, so we can go back into the assembly, again go into the references, hit the plus icon, search for Text Mesh Pro, and simply add the main assembly Unity.TextMesh Pro. One more thing related with the assemblies is an assembly reference. So let's say that we already have some created assembly. For example, I have the event channels assembly inside of the scripts folder, but what if I also have some other folder somewhere totally else, which I want to use the same assembly. So let's try to create some new folder. And if I want this folder to use the same assembly without having to change structure of the folders or having to duplicate the assembly, I can simply right click, go into create, scripting, and we can use the assembly definition reference. And this one is pretty straightforward. It allows us to reference some assembly that you want to be using again in this whole folder and all of the subfolders. So in this case, I could search for the event channels and use this one. And if you are interested in seeing what kind of assemblies you have in the project, you can just go into the file explorer. So go into your own project and down here we can see all of them. So we have the basic one, the assembly CS project. We have the editor assembly. We also have the custom ones, so we have the event channels assembly, the editor assembly, and so on. You can see that most of the built-in Unity packages also come with their own assemblies. So we have the sign machine, the Unity 2D animation, and all of these other packages as well. And if you want to search for the specific scripts that are included in these assemblies, you can go into Visual Studio, go to View, and open the Solution Explorer, which will open you this window where you can see all of the assemblies we have, so we can take a look at the basic one, the assembly C sharp. We can go into the assets and we can just see all of the folders where we have the scripts that are included in this assembly. Overall, you can see that using and creating your own custom assemblies is pretty straightforward. It can maybe be more difficult if you already have a bigger project where you didn't yet implement the assemblies, but now you want to add them, which can be quite hard. It's just mainly going to depend on how clean architecture you have so if in the project everything is dependent on everything else, you will really have a harder time with adding the assemblies. Other than that, I don't think that there are any disadvantages to using assemblies. I would say there are only advantages. And the main one is that it's going to improve the compilation time. So as you are editing these scripts, you can go into Unity more quickly and start working on something else. Obviously, it's not going to affect the performance of the build of the games because the code is already pre-compiled. And using assemblies is also forcing you to have fewer dependencies where the assemblies should not really be interacting together that much because if you have many dependencies then the assemblies are not going to work well. So all of this leads to you writing more organized and modular code. I hope that you learned something new in this video and that you will consider using assemblies in your own future projects. Anyways, I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye!